Hello, Pokedudes and Pokedudettes. Oh, for fuck's sake, I've done it again. How is it going, everybody? I am the Crimson King. Kasai Red, and I'm here with you again for some more WWE 2K17. Now, I'm hoping this would be my final spot of recording this uh, for this year's game, last year's game. Uh, there's a time and place for everything, but I can't think of a better city than here to come out and speak my mind. Lately, the WWE has been overlooking an injustice I can no longer ignore. I am here to make it right. Alright, two things for that. Um, we're not in WWE, we're in NXT, and we're in Florida. Again. A lot of people around here seem to think their spot is safe, but nothing is safe with me around. If I want something, I don't ask, I take it. And I want a spot currently occupied by a certain superstar. How does that this sound, WWE Universe? Me and Jaden Jet, right here. Live in front of all of you tonight. Does that not sound good? Like this time? Fuck. <laughs> Does it not sound like something you want to see yet again? And here he comes. Hoping to end the rivalry in a NXT London, England, which I believe took place in November. So by the time we start the next game, the plan is that I should be on the main roster by then. But of course when it comes out on the 17th, I'll be be there to get ready and record it. Um, let's just hope it's all good, you know. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I've learned a long time ago that there is only one way to get attention around here. Is to just take it. Nothing personal. I've got something on my mind that needs to be dealt with right now. I can't say I'm surprised to see you out here. You and I have some problems, lady. And I'm sure the WWE Universe would be more than happy to watch us go at it. Because there's nothing I like better than performing for the WWE fans. I'm sure they'll in, they'll be more happy than hap no, fuck more happy to watch me kick your ass. I am doing terribly today. I'm sorry. What is going on? Stop right there. You see, I came out here to finally shut to finally sh so you here's fuck shut the hell up. Let me stop you right there, because I need to ask the WWE Universe a question. Do you guys want to continue listening to this bloated, overbearing, blowhard ramble on until <laughs> ramble on until you boo hit him to death and leave in protest? I didn't think so. That's it. I'm sick of tired of listening to you. I hope the authority can hear me because I want to match with you. I don't care when, because sooner, the, sooner or later, I'm going to teach you a valuable lesson in what it happens when you piss me off. Calm down. We don't need to get so aggressive now, do we? Now, I understand you want to match, so and so do I. However... These things don't just happen because you want them to happen. Besides, if I were you, I wouldn't be so eager to get clocked clean by a superior athlete such as myself. The ego of the Crimson King talking out again. Wait, hold on a second. Are you really out here challenging what I ha have to say? I'm sorry, I thought it was a joke. Okay, for real. You better be joking, because if you're serious... You've just started something that you can't control. Maybe 
You haven't learned this about me, but I never joke about what goes on in this ring. And that's your biggest problem. You don't take any of this seriously. It's all a game to you. Well, get ready to play by my rules. Hold on, did you think I was asking for a fight? Nah, 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 I'm telling you right now. We will fight, whether it's now, at the pay-per-view, whenever. It won't be just once either. I'll kick your ass enough for this for a lifetime. And the WWE Universe will love every single minute of your ass whooping. Too much? I think that's too much. We were the tag team champions, and now we're not. See you in the match. Rayo, we're back, and we have a match with a former NXT champion, the artist, SmackDown Live's very own Rockstar, the king. Of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura will face us, the Crimson King versus the King of Strong Style in a King versus King match here tonight. As you see, I've done a bit of updating. This is actually the attire I use in my own free time. Um, the jacket is a uh, it is a d an addition. Uh, I decided to work with the Crimson Crew. Um, it's actually Finn Balor's jacket, but I decided, you know, I thought it'd look good. And I think it looks really good. Especially works with this entrance as well. Um, my own advanced entrance. So, a King versus King match. Um, that's my Crimson King logo as well on the shirt. You've already seen the attire from the uh, promo I cut out earlier. Oh, here we go. I don't think we've seen this yet. Not on our, um, not on this series anyway. Alright, so originally the plan was to go into the Royal Rumble and win the WWE title. But we're running really close to time the game comes out. Either this month or next month, depending on when this episode comes out. But uh, I believe this is episode 21 of uh, the series. Um, I haven't been great with uploading, but hopefully the next series won't be so. I won't be so bad. Um, but a lot will be in the next series, like the backstage backstage area, uh, custom title stuff. Um, I'm gonna try and figure out what I want to do with that series. Um, but I will hope to release the very first episode on the day of release. Um, of the standard the list edition, not the deluxe edition, because I didn't get it. It depends on work now, because I actually have a job. Um, it depends on a lot of factors. But I'll try and do my best to release this as much as I can. So thank you guys for sticking around. And let's get to the fights between Shinsuke Nakamura and the Crimson King. Ross Crimson. You ready? Yeah, we ready. Ross is ready. Nakamura is ready. Let's lock up. Boom. Oh. Oh. Come on, Nak. Oh. Headlock takedown. Nice. Got him into a side headlock. Oh, we moving. L1, oh, blocked it. Let's go. I don't usually block that. Go back in. Let's go for a... Yep, slam him down, that's it. 
into a fall, into a headlock. Oh, head scissor. Ow. Found it. Back out into a headlock again. And out. Oh. Nice try going for a headlock early. But we're not going to play by that. Leg sweep. I've already lost quite a bit of stamina already, Jesus. Whoop. Too sweet. Shouldn't have done that though. I've just led myself open for a knee to the back. Oh dear. And another knee to the back. I know Nakamura is a hard hitting opponent with a finisher of the Kinshasa. Let's go! And I tried to use my entire body weight to get him. But I failed, so I'm just gonna give him a couple of beatings. Kick him in the side. Ouch. Take a fake. Bam! You want this? You can't get it. Bam! And again. And out you go. A bit of fresh air. Taunt to the crowd. Whoa! In the corner with Nakamura. Hit him with a... Get him back out of the ring for a triangle drop kick. Boom. And over the top rope. Crossbody. Landing. Pick him up and bring him back into the ring. No. Oh. Looks like he celebrated for that. Oh, missed the punch. Both work. Oh no, he's now using the chat. The still steps against me. Bam. Can barely contain ourselves in the ring. Two of the greatest superstars here in NXT battling it out. Both former champions. Oh, that was a miss. Oh, I'm going to give him the stairs now. Revenge, yo. Pick him up. And a super kick. Grab him. Fucking cameraman. That was unintentional, but let's just reset the counter anyway. Come on, Shinsuke. In the ring. What the f- Alright. Hit him with a dice bread. We could end it all right here. Bam! And up we go. Tup, turnbuckle. And a moonsault. Mm, hopefully that ends it. One. A two. And a three. And just like that. I defeated Nakamura. The Crimson King has shown that he is the far superior king here in NXT. But of course, I don't know whether or not that will be the last battle we have with Shinsuke Nakamura here on the WWE 2K17 series. But I, what I will do is see you. Ugh, fuck, I got hiccups. At main event. See you then, guys. Oh, hold up. I must have knocked the X button. As soon as I'm done there. Yeah, it's back down. I, I could do some more. But the crowd stops, so I'm just going to walk off.
Oh no, I think I might have fucked the game up. Oh, my face went up. Nice. And alas, we are here in main event with yet another battle against Apollo Crews. The Crimson King is making his way there. And also, Apollo Crews is making his way there. But since we've seen both entrances, we're not gonna make our way through. We're just gonna fight. So let's start. Just beat him in the corner. Beat him in the corner. In the corner. Oh no. He blocked a cross chop. Oi! Oi! Get him back in that corner. In the corner you go. Chop! Back into the corner. And there we go. Bam! Hit him with a diced bread. A number two. And a flip. Nah, it was never going to end that easy. Tell him to hurry up and get his ass into gear. Scare them a little bit. Oh, oh shit. Apollo Cruz, boom. Spine buster onto me back. Oh, power, the strength. Landing that deadlift German suplex. And uh, I have no idea what that's called. Apollo Cruz is now taking this charge. Oh, hold up a moment. Just trying to neg crack, but has failed. That was a uh, weird topsy turvy like neck breaker do hickey. Now I'm being dragged and a stomp to the arm. Yes. One. A two. Kick out a two. What's he gonna do? We ain't gonna do shit. Cause I'm gonna get out of his neck crank again. Bam! Hit him with. Whoa! Gonna reverse that. Okay. I'm gonna reverse that with a jawbreaker. And I'm gonna hit him with a backbreaker. Bam, boom. Up we go. Let's call him up. Get up. Get up. Get up. And. Whoa, he just body dropped me from my flying clothesline. Gonna go for it. Oh, one. And it's a straight kick out. Fuck you, Apollo. Now, fuck. Now, fuck. Okay, he's got his actual neck crank in this time. He just gotta wait. To see where he's coming from. Oh, shit. Out the outside. Well, I've got an overhead. Over the head, belly the belly, and he's going for a pin. Oh. I'm gonna kick out straight off. None, none of your ones, boy. Don't want none of your ones. Fuck. Fuck. This move takes way too long. My Senzaguri wedge. Well. Oh. Okay. I guess we're over here now. What I missed, and he. Son of a bitch. Hello. Got him. Go, 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 go. Super kick. Boom. Take him up. 
Only one super kick. Oh, actually, does he? I need to check. Does he have a catch finisher? I don't see a catch finisher. He doesn't have a catch finisher. So I'm gonna climb up and hit him with my imploding 450 splash. A one, a two, a three. A welcome to the crim zone. Bada boom, he is down. See you. At the next NXT. I see an amazing Kinshasa. Kinshasa. Um, dice bread number two. And that's it from me. Here in main event. Yeah, definitely see you. And the last we are here. In yet another match against Apollo Crews. Here on NXT. Oh dear. The Crimson Crew is here in attendance against Apollo Crews. I guess he wasn't happy with his loss on main event. So asked for a asked Rill William Regal. William Regal. William. William Regal for a for a rematch. But of course, Ross was just wants, just wants in, just wants to fight. New talent would have been better instead of fighting the same old guys. Oh fuck! But of course, this is the problem with WWE 2K17 is the whole. Oh fuck, you gotta fight everyone. Unless you're on the World Heavyweight title um, tree where you can fight anyone. So I'm stuck fighting Apollo Crews until the next game, where I'll probably be fighting him even more. Because he'd be on the main roster. Ah shit. But uh, I'm actually rather excited for the next game in the series. The Hardy Boys in his DLC. I was still kind of hoping for some more uh, modern, modern -y era Shawn Michaels attires. More from 2006 onwards, instead of having two attitude era, attitude era ones, it just spice it up a little more. So, oh, I'm just gonna hit Apollo Cruz with a few extra stuff today. Oh shit. That's if I can actually hit him. I said if I can actually hit him. There we go. Grab him, throw him on the ropes. There we go. At you go. And here we go. Woo! Boom. A girl, top, top, uh, flip over the ropes, suicide flipperino. Oh, fucking tall him. You man, I got fucking ring. Come on, yeah, ring. Come on. Apollo Crews taking his time. 
But the Crimson King not taking his time and going straight into Apollo Crews. Showing, look, you're no match for me. Stay away from my positioning. Speaking of positioning, I actually went up on the NXT title rankings. I am now nine, um, the seventh ranked one. Oh wow, MMG. Uh, dice bread, finish it off. Woo! Bam! Count them. Un, deux, trois. And a winner. As you see, I could not give a two fucks about fighting Apollo Crews again. But alas, it happens. But... I do have something to do after this, as there is a rival promo going on with Jaden Jet. So I'll see you then. Oh, we have a welcome back. Here's my guest tonight, the uh, Ross Crimson. Some say you're showing a different side of yourself lately. Do you find that to be true? Sometimes when you get to get what you want in the WWE, you have to be more aggressive, more ruthless. I can assure you, I am the same me. I am going, I'm going to go out there every night and fight for the WWE Universe. The only difference is, I'm taking no prisoners. I am going to make it to the top for my fans, and that's all there is to it. The Crimson King will sit on his throne. There you have it, back to you guys. Man, I wish I could like get attacked in the backstage area, you know. Just something a little bit different. And here comes a uh, Jaden Jet to the ring. He has something to say to the WWE universe and to the Crimson Crew. Thanks to last week on NXT where he was called out by the Crimson King, hoping for some answers, he comes back to shoot a return promo. Thank you for all that welcome, fans. It's truly an honor to stand here in your presence. I thought I would come out here and inject some intelligence to the show because some guys backstage uh, uh, guys backstage, their family trees should be should have been cut down a long time ago. But seriously, I came out because I've got something on my mind. And here comes the Crimson King to spice up everything. Spice, just the spice up the show. Because Jaden Jet is boring. And Jaden Jet looks pissed. He does not want to be. The Crimson King is too early in. He hasn't said anything yet. But I'm sure it's going to be great. I'm sure it's going to be great. Oh, no time for talking today. Straight kicking the nuts. Oh. Jaden Jet trying to fight back, but none of it, none of it is going to happen. Ross Crimson is just going to beat the hell out of Jaden Jet. I guess that's how it's going to be. Jaden Jet was no boom, clotheslined, and held back. What match? It just destroyed Jaden Jet. Didn't need to talk. Didn't even need to cut a promo. But I think that is the end of the episode. So, I thank you so so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Eh, good. Bye.